Hey, I'm Jason Ruddick, field agronomist here in Arkansas, and I'm out here today to visit with you about soybean desiccation. We, uh, we've we got two varieties here uh, in one of our strip trials that were planted in end of March, and um, for our March and April planted beans, uh, desiccating soybeans can be a very beneficial practice uh, to help with scheduling harvest, but also it can help to help the plant to mature out more evenly and to eliminate some of the, uh, the the green leaves that can stick on some of these beans when, when we're, beans are trying to mature when it's still really warm in, uh, in early September. So the key to identifying the, the correct stage for, for making this application is you want to be at least R6.5 on these soybeans. Uh, a lot of people will wait till R7 when they can find those brown pods, find a brown pod on the plant, um, in the top of the plant. But I look at that R6.5, if you're gonna go early, uh, that's as early as you wanna go. And what you've gotta do is kinda pull random pods in the top four nodes. And if the majority of the pods you're pulling in those top four nodes, if you peel that pod open, and uh, I'll show you some here that if you peel them open and, and you see two, two different kinds of uh, stages here, two different varieties, one is at R6, one is at R6.5. If you notice that, that shiny, glossy bean there in the pod, when you peel it open, that membrane, that fuzzy, dull membrane has turned loose of that bean and has stuck to the pod wall, then that, that bean is shiny, it's got a glossy finish on it. Those pods will also kind of have sometimes a paler green to almost yellow appearance. Um, so they're a little easier to identify versus the ones that are um, a true R6. So R6, that membrane is still attached, that bean is still growing, and you don't want to shut that plant off uh, if you've got a majority of your pods that are still filling. So um, really handy tool to have in the toolbox when uh, you want to Try to get your, your soybean harvest scheduled out timely with your, your harvest capacity and um, doesn't give up any yield and helps the beans thrash a lot easier when um, we've got beans with some green leaves and stuck uh, on them from these uh, warm temperatures during maturity. So uh, if you want to find more information, look on pioneer.com. We've got some resources there to help you stage this as well and um, reach out to one of your local field agronomists or uh, Pioneer retailers and we can help with uh, making those decisions as well. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.